welcome back. Today we have a super fun science project to do. Today we are going to be making ice cream. So we are going to be talking about liquids and solids and how we change that state of matter. So we are going to be starting with a liquid. So a liquid takes the shape of anything that's, that it's in. So for example, water, milk, stuff like that, those are liquids. So today we're gonna to be using milk and we're gonna be turning it into a solid, which would be ice cream. So the process of turning a liquid to a solid is called solidification. To get to the process of solidification, you usually have to cool down the liquid or freeze it. So I'm going to just get it to super cold temperature so that it turns into a solid. Now after I've explained it, we're going to go ahead and get started making it. Here's what you're going to need. Okay, for this project, you're going to need about three cups of crushed ice. One third cup of rock salt. Um, I bought this ice cream salt from Walmart for two bucks and you can keep using it. It'll probably make um, like 15 batches of ice cream or so, just depending on how much you use. Um, you're gonna need whole milk, half and half, or heavy whipping cream. If you're lactose intolerant, there's a brand called Lactate and they make lactose free whole milk. I've never tried with almond milk or coconut milk, but you can definitely experiment with that. Um, for the milk, you need half a cup of it. Then you're going to need one tablespoon of granulated sugar. You're also gonna need one, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. You're gonna need a bowl to put your ice cream in, a one gallon Ziploc bag, and two quart size Ziploc bags. I like using two just in case one of them breaks. Um, measuring cups so you can measure everything out. And then a towel because when we start making the ice cream, it's gonna get very cold. So I recommend a towel. Along with those ingredients, you can also have um, chocolate powder, strawberry syrup, food dye, whatever you like your flavor ice cream to be, you can also add that in there. Um, I'm not going to go through all the recipes, but if you search online, you can definitely find like how much of each thing to put into the ice cream. Today, I'm just going to be using a dye. I'm going to do purple. So first, we are going to mix some of the ingredients together. So we are going to do a half a cup of milk. I'm just going to pour that into the bowl to start with. Then we are going to do a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. And one tablespoon of sugar. And I'm going to add my dye. If you have the chocolate powder or strawberry syrup or anything like that, um, it's good to add it now. And we are just going to mix these ingredients together in the bowl. You can just throw them around a little bit. If you don't have a bowl, you can also mix it inside of the bag. But I like using a bowl so it's a little bit less messy. So after you've mixed your ingredients together, you're going to get one of the smaller quarter size ba quart size bags. And you're going to put the liquid in there. If you did a bowl like I did, make sure you do this over your sink. So I'm going to do it over my sink right here. And that's how much we have. If you want more ice cream or if you're sharing it with someone, you can always double the recipe. And then I like to double bag it so that it's not 
spilling inside of there and getting salt inside of it. And make sure you're closing it tight and that you got all of it closed so that the salt doesn't get in there. All right, then we are going to get the big gallon size bag. And we are going to put three cups of ice. You can also eyeball it if you don't want to do the cups. Just enough to get about halfway full. This is a half a cup, so I have to do six of them. But if you had a cup, then you could just do three scoops. So that's about how much ice I have right now. I'm actually going to add a bit more. to put our ice cream in here and now we're gonna get the rock salt I taped mine up so it wouldn't spill we're gonna get the rock salt and we are going to put one third cup of rock salt inside of the bag not inside of the milk part but inside of the bag where the ice is so we're gonna put a third cup if you don't have rock salt, you could use regular table salt. It's just gonna take a lot longer for the ice cream to freeze. Um, this just makes it so it takes like 10 minutes to freeze. All So my rock salt is in there. I made sure everything's sealed up tight. Now you're gonna take your towel so you can hold the bag and you're gonna shake the bag for 10 to 15 minutes. I always do it in intervals of five minutes. So every five minutes I'll take a break because it does get kind of hard shaking the bag back and forth. You can play music, you can dance with it, whatever you want. Um, we'll do, or I'll do intervals of five minutes and I'll check in with But um, our ice cream's almost there. Um, my big bag actually got a hole in it, I think from the ice. So I actually double bagged that as well. Um, we're gonna keep going for five more minutes and see if we get our ice cream. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, it looks like it is ready. Um, if yours doesn't look ready, keep on shaking it for another five minutes. It just depends on the type of salt and milk you use. Um, when you open the bags, make sure you're very, very careful not to spill it everywhere. Keep them standing upright. So here is my ice cream. It definitely looks ready. So I am going to keep that bag in here. And here's my little ice cream baggie. I'm gonna put this in my sink so it doesn't spill over my counter. Here is the finished product. 
You can eat it from the bag if you want, or you can pour it into a bowl. I'm gonna pour it into a bowl. And then you can add any kinds of toppings you'd like. You can put bananas, blueberries, sprinkles, whatever you want. Um, this ice cream does melt pretty fast, so you kind of have to eat it right away. Well, I have my ice cream. I put it in a bowl. And you can go ahead and start eating it. This is one of my favorite projects. I hope you really like this one as much as I do. I hope you had fun today and I'll see you soon. Bye.